Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're in Pague Las Americas out here in Merida, Mexico. And um, I'm just gonna take you on a little bit of a tour walking around here and uh, showing you what's up. And um, hope you guys enjoyed and like it, all right? Now, it is very, very, very hot. I'm gonna try and make uh, the longest episode I can out of this today, but um, we might have some technical difficulties with the battery and uh, we're, let's just go with it, all right? And let's see what we can record and uh, stay positive. I think we might have, uh, you know, a nice uh, little short episode here at best, all right? At worst. So, um, I've only been here once. Look at this, look at this thing here. I've only been here to this park once, like, I don't know, almost a year ago. So, we're just gonna explore this together. Uh, together. And when I came here, I came at night, which is a completely different park at night. Um, when you come here at night, it is completely different than what it is right now. Why, why is it different? Well, let me see if I can show you guys. So, over there on this street, lines up all kinds of vendors. Literally, we're not only here in the park, but also all along the street. So you see how there's two, a few vendors there? Well, here all along the street, all across here, um, all kinds of vendors line up. And you know, they line up on the other side of the street. It's like um, there's two parks. We're gonna, again, explore this somewhat. Um, we're gonna walk around a little bit and uh, just explore it together. Now, I apologize for the noise. There's like some construction in a far away building over there. but. What happens is that like pretty much every single night and especially on the weekends, you know, this place gets packed with the locals and, um, you know, there's all kinds of food vendors, drink vendors, you know, all kinds of really, really cool stuff. It's like a, like a really, you know, kind of like a little bit of a mini fair type environment. And um, it's really cool because it happens, you know, just about every night. And, um, you know, some of the best elotes and esquites in all of Merida are sold out here by some gentlemen. Um, I forgot where the stand was. I haven't been here in a while, but it's, you know, speaking of which, I'm going to I'm going to come back here again another time with my girlfriend at night and um, I'll show you how different the park looks at night when it's full of people and we're going to get some of those uh that corn, you know, that esquite that you know, which is you know, the esquite is the one that comes in the cup and the uh, elote is the corn on the cob, you know, that comes with the mayonnaise and the cheese and the spices and all that shit. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So I think they're renovating um, the park and all that stuff. I'm gonna try and stay away from the sun as much as possible in order to avoid overheating of the camera. Look how beautiful this is, huh? So, so you know, the, um, these this park is, uh, it's kind of like separated into two blocks. So it's like two blocks that are two big parks. So it's like the whole block is a park and uh, I, you know, there's all kinds of stuff here. I think there's like a library. There's all kinds of really cool things. So here all along, um, you know, the interior, there's all these um, coat of arms and um, they all mean something different. I don't know. I'm not from here. I'm not Mexican. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not one of those travel vloggers that has all this information and all this knowledge and shit. I just uh, show you stuff the real way. All right. See, look, like I'll show you trash cans. See, look, they they have trash cans here and they also uh, recycle. See, they do that here. Um, so there. But anyway, so they got like these things that were built here. I don't know when the hell this was built. Uh, I should do more research, right? I suck at this. But um, regardless, it's pretty cool. So we're just going to keep walking around. And um, so like I said, I came here, I want to say like a year ago, a little bit over a year ago. And I came here with some friends um, and we just came, you know, it was some local friends and um they they brought me here and they showed me around it was really cool and awesome and it was like i said it was a night time it was a while ago so um i kind of forgot i do recognize a few of the things after you know as i'm walking around and seeing but uh yeah you know so this place is uh pretty cool look haiti huh i wonder where all these things are or maybe maybe there's cuba in one of these or something who knows but anyways so peru okay all right let's see Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, okay, so all, all around here, you know, I'd see, look, there's like even more of a park all the way over there. I thought it was just there, but look, there's even more stuff over there. So, all right, I'm gonna turn the camera off real quick so I can get to the other side and make sure the camera doesn't overheat so I can film some more, okay? So I'll catch you guys in a few seconds when I cross the street. 
All right, so we made it to the other end. Uh, we crossed the treacherous highway, Frogger style. All right, and uh, we made it over here to the other end. Uh, now, granted, I uh, just wanted to cool the camera down a little bit because, again, we're dealing with uh, major heat issues out here. It's like 178 billion degrees, and it's really humid. But anyways, so look, there's like these things here. I think they probably, oh, Mexico. Um, don't know what, what it says there. I don't know what it says there. I think they might be, oh, I think these are the counties. They're not the, the states, the states. That's Sonora, right, maybe? I don't know. I, I know I suck at this but anyways look at this it's like a big uh, amphitheater thing or something let's uh, climb this together all right by the way I'm already getting kind of lost I gotta figure out how the fuck I'm gonna get back uh, home but look at this pretty nice huh so beautiful nice huh so there's some music in the background someone playing some really loud music i don't know well, who the fuck but anyways uh so yeah we got like this uh thing here not quite i guess people oh yeah okay so people pile up in here they just gather there and then there, there's the amphitheater there you know for music i think i can i can be pretty loud let me see let me try this out i think there's some um, some guy sleeping over there i hope i don't disturb him so yeah, I think if I talk here, people can hear it over there. Not quite sure how this works. Pretty cool, huh? Look at this. Ooh, things do sound different in here. Things sound really different here. You know what? I'm going to put the camera over there. And um, I'm going to say something. And let's see if... Um, let's see if you guys can hear me. All right, we're going to do this quick, all right, because it's hot. So yeah, see, look, ta-da. See, when I speak this way, you hear, oh, look, there's an echo. Look at that. Interesting. Cool. All right. So yeah, so I guess things happen here. Maybe they have performances here. Not quite sure. This does look very, um, what is it? Very Mayan, very um, old, very cool. I know, I'm the worst. Eat Lara Croft, eat your heart out, huh? All right, so we're just going to keep exploring a little more. See what else we got around here. Let's go around the amphitheater. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, look. Cool. Check this out. Um, so, well, we already saw the auditorium. Um, there's really not much more to see out here. Again, I guess this is where a lot of vendors post up and then there's events that happen there, um, whether it's musical or cultural or what have you. Um, this is, you know, what goes on here. So now I'm gonna, again, just turn off the camera and I'm gonna go to the other side, back to another part of the park and uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we're back where we started the episode. Uh, that's where we just left off back there in the background now we're gonna walk through where we just walked through when we first got here remember we saw like the the water pool and all these thingies around here and um, there's more park over there and all that good stuff this is uh where i came from oh that's where the music is coming from it's coming from that van over there 
It's literally like a like a radio van. It's fucking Wednesday afternoon, bro. Anyways. So yeah, so now we're gonna walk through here. Like um when I came here to this park, I walked down this street that we're seeing right in front of here. And um as you look, it seems like people are, you know, they come here and they buy stuff or they they come, you know, they just drive through here and they buy stuff at all times of the day. But anyways, I came walking down that street all the way down there. And um, I think I gotta go in that direction. I gotta go in that direction to head back home. But right now we're gonna go explore the other end of the park, all right? So let's uh, let's get over there, see what we got over here. So we already saw two parts. Now we're gonna see part number three out here. Seems like there's a bus stop or something out here. People just hanging out. But um, yeah, there's like some cool stuff up here. Let's see, look what it looks like. Stop looking at my face, right? Look at this. Looks very grand. Seems like it's another, you know, thing here. Oh, look, more water, more pool water. Oh, uh, this is from the rain. This is from the rain. It's a good thing that there's just promotions going on now, no music, all right? So we're just gonna take advantage of that. Sorry about the noise. But I think this was a fountain. I think this is like a huge fountain. Let me see if we can, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can jump in there real quick. I know I'm not loud, but fuck it. Oh shit, almost fucking ate it there. Slipped on some, uh... all right. So the fountain, this is like a giant fountain and it's under maintenance. It's uh, getting fixed or what have you. But look, that's the amphitheater there. That's what we were just at right now. I think that's like, uh, I'm not sure if that's a park or a school. Um, but yeah, so anyways, so there's like a really cool long giant fountain. Obviously it's out of service. This is from the rain. It actually rained yesterday. And um, it's all supposed to, I guess, be turned on. And you could just imagine how this is supposed to fountain. So now I'm stuck in here. So now we gotta get the fuck out of here. Because I'm not gonna walk through that. But anyways, I hate this stuff because this is what breeds flies and bugs and shit. That water. So all right, all right, fucking hot. Oof, it's funny. I was just talking to my girlfriend as I was taking a break in between filming here because it's so hot. And I was just telling her, literally, hey, yeah, I'm just taking a break here, you know, just uh, catching a little breather, you know, from the sun, blah, blah, blah. And she's just like, you catching a breather from the sun? Where? You know, you know, kind of like implying like, what are you talking about? It's so hot and the sun is so bright and everything is just so awful that it's impossible for you to be, you know, um, <laughs> staying away from the sun and staying cool. So I thought that was pretty funny. So I know it's a little bit lost in translation, um, the joke there. But anyways, so look at these things here. I think each one of these represents a country. I think that was Peru, that's Paraguay. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I think all these are the, the countries in, in, in South and Central America. And by the way, Mexico is part of North America. All right, so North America is Mexico, the United States of America, and Canada, and then Central America is Central America, and then we got South America, all right? So I guess these are all the Central and South American countries that are all represented here. So we got Uruguay, we got, I don't know, what, what does it say there? Bahamas, Paraguay, and, um, and again, I, I actually remember this little area here at night, and it was very different at night. Um, th this is definitely a park that's really cool at night and during the day. I'm going to see if I can convince my girlfriend um, to come out here this weekend. Actually, it's really easy to convince her to do pretty much anything or go anywhere. So it shouldn't be a problem. We just they got to see what my schedule's like. Actually, it's really convincing me. <laughs> but anyways, um, for us to come out here um, at night, because I would really love to show you at night. See, look, there's like a circle K, you know, um, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Um, no, because it's a, a Circle K. When I see a Circle K or a 7-Eleven, it's funny because I, I don't think I've ever been in one yet. But like I'm, the, um, I, 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 you know, I like to see. I think I have. I don't know. I keep forgetting. It's just because everything here is an OXO, 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 OXO. It's OXO everywhere. So you're like it's, uh, you know, they're out, you know they're outnumbering uh, the other ones. But anyways, I digress. So you know, I guess look, they're doing some construction, or no, these are the park people, maintenance park stuff. You know. There's Bolivia, there's uh, Jamaica. It's pretty cool, man, pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, you know, this is the park. We're just checking out the park. This is the back side of the thing. You know what, let's climb this thing. Let me see, I hope it's not slippery. Look at, the, this is so, like, look, look at my feet. Look at this. It's 
coming down from this is gonna suck. Ugh. But look, look where we're at. Ta-da! Cool, right? You can see the thing all the way over there. So, all right. So now I'm, I'm gonna put the camera so you guys can watch me. Hopefully, not eat it. Climb down. My feet are so big. I'm gonna go sideways. You probably, I don't know. I don't know what the video caught or anything, but it was very difficult. But I made it all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. So, all right, I think that's it, guys. I mean, I think we're gonna get the frick out of here. I think we made a pretty good video. I have no idea what the hell I filmed. Um, what came out, what didn't come out. Um, hoping the music out there isn't really um, being a, a nuisance to the video I'm recording at the moment. But um, that's it. I think I'm going to start walking the hell out of here and, uh, you know, ending the video because that's it. You know, we've already um, explored the park. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the park with me because I know I enjoyed exploring the park with you. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, huge church. Look at that. They're building some new building over there. But look at that. You know, speaking of which, I got to figure out how the fuck I got to get back home because I don't even know where I am. I'm kind of lost. So I think it was this way. I think it was that way. Is this Avenida Colón or whatever? I got to figure this out because I want to make sure I get home. All right. Because otherwise I'm just going to be walking around not knowing where I'm going. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this adventure through uh, Parque de las Americas here in Merida. Um, this is a place that, you know, any one of you guys can come, no matter where the hell you're living, especially if you're close to El Centro, it's really not that far away. And like I said, this is a place that really starts popping at night. It's a place that really, you know, it's better suited for nighttime. But regardless, during the day, you can come out here. There's still a few, you know, just a few vendors here and there. There's um, a lot of action going on. It's mostly construction. <laughs> but you know if you you know the, the beauty about you know living out here in Merida is the fact that there's tons of parks like this all over the place in which you can just come and um, you know enjoy the park you know if you want to just lay on a bench over here and take a nap you can lay on the bench and take a nap and no one's gonna say anything to you you know if you want to you know sell stuff you know at the park you, you can do that if you want whatever the hell you want to do you can you can literally do out here you know all within reason all within reason guys all right no naked streakers out there but regardless you know outside of that you know you can you know enjoy the park you know which is a lot to say you know because i know it sounds kind of crazy to some people but you know to other people that live in like uh, the united socialist states of america you know sometimes the, those freedoms are hard to come by you know just hanging out at the park and being able to have a beer you know i mean literally think about it if you live like let's just say you live like across the street from the park you can literally have a bring a beer and sit at the park and enjoy it where you know most places in the usa you probably get arrested for that you know look another cool thing look a payphone how about that oh shit, it works let me see maybe you guys can hear it but it works how much is it oh look it says there five pesos so five pesos is like uh is it five? Yeah, five pesos. So that's um, 25 cents for a call. Ah, cool. All right. Well, all right, guys. I'm gonna see if I can get the hell out of here. Uh, I'm gonna try and take a different path home because the first path I took over here was so hot and horrible and humid and kind of sucky. So I'm gonna just look at the map and figure out which way I gotta go. I think it's that way. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for hanging out with me today at the park. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and um, if you did, then you already know what to do. You know, just watch other videos, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. If you didn't, then you know, you also know what you can do. You know, um, I don't know why you're still watching, but you know, or maybe you're waiting to leave a thumbs down, whatever. I'm sure you guys fucking love it regardless. Even if you don't, I fucking love making these for you. Thank you so much. I want to shout out to all my people. All right, let's try that one last time. <laughs> Thank you so much to all my patrons. Thank you so much to everyone out there, all my supporters, every single one of you. I love you to death. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please stay awesome. And um, that's it. More importantly than anything else, don't forget to just enjoy life a little bit, you know?
or a lot of bit, but just enjoy life, all right? And um, that's it. I'm going to get the fuck out of here so I can enjoy my life and you guys can enjoy more of your life. And uh, I'll smell you later, alligators. I think I'm going the right way. I forgot, but I'm actually going back the same exact way because that seems to be the shortest route. I just got to, you know, I don't even recognize my surroundings at the moment because now I'm going back the other way. So I think I better learn this route because I got a feeling I'm going to be coming out here a little more than than usual all right guys anyways thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you guys manana peace